Before the break, we were at this level of CRM components, applications, infrastructure, and transformation. Now, we are going to start from here. One important goal of customer relationship management is retaining customer, retaining customer. If you want to get new customers, uh, it's costly because new customers that don't have any idea about your organization, that don't have enough information about your products and services, so you need to spend more time for them. You need to spend more money for them. You need to spend more money for promotions. But existing customers, they are familiar with your organization, your products, your services. So just only one more point you have to keep in your mind is customer relationship. So through customer relationship, you can retain your existing customers. And that's why we are talking about retention versus acquisition. Which one is better? The better is retention. So if you have new customer and if they don't be satisfied on your products and services, and they will leave your organization. So if you continue like this, all the time you're spending money for promotion, attracting new customers, and new customers are changing every day, every week. You can't retain. So if you can't retain them, your expenditures will increase and your profits will decrease. Only one solution is customer relationship management. If you have proper customer relationship management, if you understand customer needs, if you answer their queries, then you'll be able to retain them. And retaining means it's less costly. You don't need to spend more money on promotion. You don't need to spend more money to attract them again. So retention is always better than acquisition retain grow and this way either you can if you can retain you can grow and your business will go up or if you can't retain growth will decline and you will be out of the market Customer relationship management success stories. There are many success stories. Uh, if you ask most of the organization, you will find that out of 10, eight organizations got success. So internationally, nationally, uh, the success rate is 80%. Now, some tips ways to build long-standing customer relationship or motivating consumers customers how can you build long standing customer relationships it's not only customer relationships now it's related to your sales executive skills is related to your operational officers skills is related to uh, office head skills how you all guys are dealing with your customers. Some key points, the very valued points. Number one is a spare, no effort to exceed customer service expectation means you must try to satisfy your customers maximum. Don't spare any effort to exceed customer service expectation means what customer expects from you you must deliver more than their expectations all the time what they ask you should deliver more than that what they expect you should provide services 
above their expectations. It's a beautiful point. Spare no effort to exceed customer service expectation. How? How you can do this? The solution is deliver real time support. Deliver real time support. Just see mobile company. If you have any problem, call them. They will give you the time. They will inform you that what time their support team will help you and how they will solve your problem. Real time support. If you have problem with your AC air condition and you buy the air condition from a very good company, if you call them, they will give you time. They will inform you that their service team will arrive at your home at 9.30 or at 10.30. So you'll be ready for them without wasting your work time because you know the time of delivering services. Even you can make some tea or coffee for them. If they're on time, they will give you the services and you'll be happy. Deliver real-time support. But in Bangladesh, so many cases, we are unable to deliver real-time support. If you make an objection and uh, the support team, uh, uh, they're supposed to come at 11, but you are waiting till 12, they didn't come. Even that did not message you that they are not coming. You say that what customer expects? Real-time support. You call your customers to the bank, to the financial institutions, because we are the student of credit management. So you ask them to come to the bank and that is the time 10. So when they reach to the bank, they are in front of you, but they're waiting and waiting and waiting because you were busy with other jobs. And you see that you are not delivering them real-time support. Real-time support is so important, real-time support. And only machine can support you through for this. Machine will remind you about the service. Machine will fix the time on what you can deliver the services. Number two, make your customers feel special. Introduce yourself when you provide services to your customers. At least you can mention, Assalamu alaikum, namaskar, adab. I am Tanvir, your customer service manager. How can I help you? So you see that your customer will also introduce himself or herself, mentioning the name and profession. So you understand your customer now. Then only you can make your customers feel special. You have to talk in a way, you have to deliver services in a way that your customers feel as special. Personalize customer relationship. How? How can you personalize your customer relationship? Almighty gave you a nice voice, tone. Don't use the same tone for each and every customers. Match your tone with your customer personality. If your customer is a doctor, if your customer is an engineer, journalist, lawyer, teacher, so your tone should match with the customer personality. If you are idle, lazy, don't want to talk properly, don't want to give thank you, don't want to say sorry, can you satisfy your customer? When your customers are making lots of objections, if you don't say, my dear customer, please let us know how can we help you? We are ready to support you. If you don't say like this, if you just say, hoo, 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 how can you match your tone with your customer personality? Your customer is unhappy, dissatisfied. He is, she is angry. So your customer personality is now unsatisfied, showing dissatisfaction, showing anger. And if your tone doesn't match with your customer personality, how can you build long-standing customer relationships? 
You have to understand your customer personality through evaluating gesture and posture. You have to watch your customer's eyes, faces, nose, hands, legs at the time of discussing. Know your customer preferences. Say, my dear customer, we are sorry. Please let us know how can we support you? What's the problem? We are ready to solve your problem. We want to share your pain. Understand customer psychology. Customer psychology. And how can you understand customer psychology? You can understand customer psychology if you have a study on gesture and posture. So that is different subject. You must study on this gesture and posture, good gesture and posture, bad gesture and posture, the language of eyes, faces, nose, ears, hands, legs. You have to study on these languages. Then you can understand customer psychology and deal with the customer. create fellows for customers and it is possible by understanding your customer needs you have to spend time to educate your customers customers may not be familiar with all of your products and services all of your products features and services so it's up to you it's up to your team to train educate customers if you need two, three minutes more time, try to educate customers with your products and services. Next time, that will not disturb you again. If you don't educate your customers now, they will come to you again and again and again, and that will create noises, disturbances. You will find some organizations are using digital bolt. When customers are in a queue, they are waiting for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. They are watching the digital board. They are watching the biggest screen television where your best products advertisement is, are, are going on. So watching television, watching billboard, digital board, biggest screen television, they are getting education. You see, so these way they are educate their customers. Customers are sitting there, waiting there, and these waiting time, they're getting some education from the institutions, from the organizations. In a still customer service, adequate, adequate is everywhere, manners, everywhere you need. So you have to practice some adequate with your customers if you really want to build very good customer relationship management. The first one is practice active listening. Don't talk too much. First, listen, listen to your customers. Some bankers, they don't want to listen. Some call center officers that don't want to listen. They want to talk too much. But you have to practice active listening, active listening. Not like that your mobile is on, you are connected with the Zoom, and then you went out. You are gossiping with your friends and family members. We have experienced a lot like this. And even today, if I now ask you to unmute all of your mic, that will be the situation you are in the market. So practice active listening, listen to your customers first and listen very actively. Offer gratitude to them, say thank you to them because they're your customers, they're getting you, they're supporting you. Customers that deserve thank you again and again because they are your customers, they're your customers and that's why you are doing business and profit and that's why you are getting salary. How many officers and executives, they are polite, gentle, generous, 
they know that customers are the heart of the organization how many times they show gratitude to the customers no not at all in bangladesh most of the offices they thought they are very important person and customers are nothing they don't say thank you you should say thank you again and again to your customers because they are customers and that's why you are doing business even if you have thousand objections still you have to say them thank you because their objections will help you to rectify your services their allegation their objections is positive it will help you to change show empathy show empathy not sympathy empathy means share your customers pain share your customers pain say my dear customers please let us know how can we help you we are here to support you if you just say sorry that is not enough customers are here to solve their problems not to listen only sorry so you have to confidently prove them that you are here to solve their problem you have to request them ask them how you want your solutions what kind of solutions you are looking for we are ready here to solve your problems we are ready here to solve your accounts problems we are here to solve your financial problems what problems you have with our banks insurance companies leasing companies factories products or services if you have let us know we are here to support you now it is it is the age of multi channel communication multi channel communication if you say oh i call my customer he didn't receive the phone what a bullshit you have email why not you send email you have sms why not you send sms you say oh i send an sms i send sms i didn't get reply so why only sms you have to phone you have to call you have to send email now the time of multi channel communication there are some banks there are some banks will provide information through email through sms through phone and there are some banks who oh, they say you didn't receive sms we send you sms you see 21st century banks that don't know multi channel communication approach so if you really want to be long standing customer relationship you must have multi channel communication and choose the right communication channels not only one channel your customer may have sickness and that's why he or she is not picking your phone so send sms send email multi channel communication approach you have to use we are using multi channel with our students we are using zoom we are using google we are using google meet classroom we are using whatsapp group we are using messenger group we are using multi channel communication with our participants and obviously you need data driven technology friendly customer relationship management you need crm customer relationship management tools why you need that tools why you need that apps why you need that infrastructure because you need to handle millions and millions of data and that is really impossible for a person to process the machine will process all these data and give you some output output like segment customer base in a better way male female profession religion region education so many ways you can have data from your 
customer relationship management and based on customers information you can anticipate forecast your customers needs and interests and you can communicate fast customer relationship management will help you communicate very fast faster communication with customers appreciate loyal customers you see that all the time you have to be polite gentle generous you have to know how to show gratitude you must know how to say thank you you must know how to say how can i help you you must know how to say how can i solve your problems and your organization must have strategic strategies to build long standing customer relationship appreciate loyal customers through incentive offer gifts offer discounts offer new features or offer premium services premium services because the customer is very loyal the customer is valued customer so you need to develop a strategies if you just deal all customers same way you can't build long standing customer relationship and never forget to get feedback from your customers ask them after delivering services after delivering financial or non financial product ask them my dear customer do you need any other support you have already delivered services and then you are asking that do you need any other support customer says no then take feedback are you happy with our customer services if customer say yes give them thank you if say no then ask them how can we improve our customer services don't be angry exercises adequate and manage kethese ask them how can we improve our services take your feedback and give them thank you show gratitude to them and this way you can build long standing customer relationships what's the key what's the key behind customer relationship management why we are talking about customer relationship management again and again the customer relationship management key is motivation is motivation is is why we need customer relationship management why we need to build long lasting customer relationship because we want to motivate our customers we don't want to lose them we want to retain them we want to inspire them we want to stimulate them we want to see that our customers are really motivated so you need to understand customer consumer motivation it's not your motivation we are talking about consumer motivation so what is consumer motivation consumer motivation is an inner drive that reflects goal directed arousal so it's their inner drive whether they want this product or not whether they want our services or not if they want our services why the answer of why is inner drive so we have to build relationship with our customers in a way that the inner drive will be reflected so it is the drive to satisfy needs and wants both physiological 
and psychological through the purchase and use of products and services. So we are now focusing on consumer motivation. So you have to design your customer relationship management in a way that consumers feel motivation. You can remember Maslow's need hierarchy theory. Can you remember Maslow's need hierarchy theory? Yes, sir. So you yes, see sir. that you see that when you want to motivate your consumers, you want to build customer relationship. You have to again remember Maslow's need hierarchy theory. How can you motivate your consumers? You can motivate your consumers. How? First, you can meet their physiological needs. Then you can meet their safety needs. Then you can meet their love and belonging. You can meet their esteem needs. You can support them to feel their self-actualization needs. So here also you can follow Maslow's need hierarchy theory. I'm not explaining a lot about this. You have to keep in your mind motivational conflicts. Are you trying to avoid negative or achieve positive an outcome? Oh, that case is you have to remember Hartberg. Hartberg, you can't motivate customers just giving what they want. Same time, you have to stop all dissatisfaction from your customers. Why they are dissatisfied? You have to work on this. And that's why we say, remember motivational conflicts. Okay, you understand their need. You are trying to fill their need, but same time you have to understand why they are dissatisfied. And you have to work on this. You have to remove dissatisfaction. You have to work to delay all these dissatisfactional elements from your customers from your organization. Now you have to trigger your consumer behavior, your customer behavior. How can you trigger it? It's a summary of our discussion. Recognize the need, move your consumer from actual state to desired state, where they are now, where they want to reach. Once you know that, then triggering motivation through need benefit segmentation. Now use your relationship expertise, relationship tools, relationship tactics, CRM to trigger them to move from first to present, understand consumer better. So once you understand consumer better, now this is the right time to offer him or her products or services to meet the needs of a specific target segments. And this way, customer relationship management works very successfully. 